Hi, this is Kevin Deal, and today we're going to talk about the Prima Luna Evo 100 bonus stage. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how excited I am to have one of these in my hot little hands, to have one in front of me so I can see the inside and share it with you and show you how this is different. And I'm going to tell you something, this is different than anything I've ever seen. You know, initially, Prima Luna was going to put some uh, very, very high-end JFETs uh, into this when they were uh, starting to design it years ago. And uh, they decided that it was not true to the Prima Luna Credo, and it was not true to the Prima Luna sound. And now that this is here, I agree with them, and I agree with all the work, but I, I'm telling you, it was tough. Because to make something, to make a phono stage that doesn't have step-up transformers or FETs in it is a very, very difficult thing to do because then you're gonna have to spend a ton of money on the power supply. Right? And, but that's exactly what they did, just like Prima Luna does. And they did a couple of things that I've never, ever seen before. I sent this over, I sent the schematic over to our service manager, who's also a full-blown engineer, right? This guy knows his stuff. Josh, he is badass. And he sent me this really great email. He can't wait to get one, first off. But he said, <laughs> we were talking about, he says, you ever heard the term killing a fly with a bazooka in regards to something being overkill? This entire unit is that. Then he talks about some a special trick that they did on the input that he has never, ever seen before. He had heard about it. He'd never seen it implemented to help drop noise just a, a, from the get-go on the signal coming into the signal path. And he's absolutely right about that. Then he talked about all the parts that are in the power supply. Look, when this thing, when I opened it, I go, okay, Oh, it's got five AR4s, just like the Prima Luna preamps. Oh my God. But what's with these EL34s? Sometimes in a phono stage or in a preamp, like from Audio Research and Balanced Audio Technology, which they both make great, great products, you will see some power tubes like a 6550 or KT120 or 5881, and that is called tube regulation. Now, I have a little kind of a preference for tube rectification, but that's okay. Either one of them is golden, and it's not something that you're going to find typically, because it costs a lot of money. you got to have a, a winding coming off the transformer, you got to have the tubes, the sockets. It's hard to do. But Prima Luna added these EL34s, and when I found out what they do, I could not believe it. Look at this power supply. This power transformer is so trick, you could never, ever buy it off the shelf. It has seven taps on it. That means each one of these EL34s has its own tap. It's like their own power supply. Imagine in your house, right? How you get noise from your refrigerator, you get noise from your router, you get noise, all of that stuff that sometimes we have to fight with when we have a really nice stereo system. It's the same thing inside this box. Imagine this being your house and you have seven different uh, lines, in essence, controlling all of your stuff. You've got a separate uh, transformer tap for the front end, all the IC logic, you got one for the tubes, you know, for the 12AX7s. I mean, it's really super badass, but not only that, this power transformer's got an inductor built into it, and you've heard me talk about that uh, in other Prima Luna videos, and the, the benefit of that. And only Prima Luna can do it because they design and they wind their own transformers in-house. So all of that happens here. And look at this big board with all of these capacitors. That's all in the power supply. Now, what is it all about with all of these parts? Okay, imagine this. You're trying to get some water and you need some really, really clean water. I mean, you need clean water. So you run it through a filter, then another filter, then another filter, and then you end up taking all of that. Every time you go through that, you take out a little bit more of the particulates. And then finally, maybe you run it through reverse osmosis. Think of that here. What they want to do is they want to make sure there is no rebel. They want to make sure there is no sense of noise before anything is going on in the signal path. And that's what these EL34s are about. They're in the power supply, and they are in the power supply acting as a filter. And I've never seen it done before. Josh, he'd never seen it done before. He said he's looked at thousands of schematics. 
and he's never seen that. And uh, I got to applaud them for thinking outside of the box. Oh my God. Now the entire signal path though, it's not on a board. It is all point to point wiring. 12AX7s in the front, flanked by a pair of 12AU7s. And then for the moving coil photo stage, in the back, in its own box, all shielded, is a pair of 6922s. How cool is that? You remove the little cover, and if you want to play around, uh, fine tuning the sound a little bit, you got to make sure, because they are in a moving coil photo stage, make sure that you use quiet ones. That's for sure. All the tube sockets are ceramic. They're bolted to this panel right here, just the way the Prima Luna always does it. Oh my God. And then over here, this is where we handle all the loading. There's an IC here that handles relays. And so uh, as you change the loading, uh, you have relays that open and close. I mean, it's just slicker than hell. I mean, really, really slick. So instead of having to pull things around and move dip switches and all that, you got controls right up in the front. You have loading for your moving coil cartridges of 50 ohms, 100 ohms, 200 ohms, 500 ohms and a thousand ohms. So it's going to work with just about any cartridge you can think of. Now the gain stage is going to give you a choice of 50, uh, for a moving coil, you got 52, 56, and 60 dB of gain. And that is absolutely fabulous. So if you're going with a high output moving coil or one of these newer ones, all these guys are coming out with these kind of mid high output cartridges and then all the way down to let's say uh, let's say about uh, 0.5 millivolt for the 60 dB setting, 0.5 millivolt. You could even go 0 .4, 0 0.35, 0 0.2 millivolt. I mean, that's just like hardly any output. I don't know. Um, maybe we'll give it a whirl with something like that, but that's kind of a crazy, crazy cartridge. Now, what about moving magnet? Because there's some great moving magnet cartridges out there today. Well, it's got 40 dB of gain, and that is absolutely textbook. But not only that, they give you the ability to change uh, capacitive uh, uh, loading. So you have uh, 47 uh, picofarads and 100 picofarads, and that'll help you to kind of, uh, let's call it fine tune the top end if, you get, if it gets a little bit uh, bitey on top. Oh my God, like I said, all the controls are in front. It weighs, I mean, most phono stages don't weigh like anything. This weighs 27.9 pounds. It's got five coats of hand rubbed automotive lacquer finish, right? Look at this cage in the front. Look at the cage on the inside. This is what's called, uh, uh, Josh had explained to me about how there's a Faraday cage inside here to help keep everything quiet all the little tricks that they had done to bring the noise down, bring the noise down. I've told you this, Prima Luna tube amps are only 36, 40 watts per channel, but they kick the snot out of products that have so much more power. And it's because power doesn't get you there. You gotta spend money on the parts. Drop the noise floor, drop the noise floor, drop the noise floor. Dynamic range is the difference between light and dark and loud and soft. And the only way to get there is by spending the money on the parts. And that's why Josh said it. He goes, I, he just had never seen a photo stage like this. Oh my God. So look, go to your local Prima Linda dealer. Make sure that you do your due diligence. Call me out on this. Call me out on it. Make me prove it. Go take a look at the website. Look at the pictures on the inside. Look how everything works. And most of all, listen. That's why I'm wearing my Tree of Life shirt today because I'm like listening to this thing and I'm in analog heaven and I want you to be there too. And that's why I've got to tell you, Prima Luna always uses that tagline and it is music illuminated. Thank you.